Thousands of royal terns and sandwich terns sitting on eggs or sheltering little chicks that are starting to hatch. And in the riprap, we've got lapping gulls nesting in that area. The birds have been relocated here as part of the expansion of the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. They used to nest on the South Island of the HRBT for nearly 30 years. And with the construction project going on there, there was no habitat for them. So we worked to relocate the colony over here to Fort Wool. This isn't an ideal long-term solution. The barges, while they're securely anchored, have to be moved in the event of a hurricane. And the birds are all still within low elevation military airspace. So we want to move the birds outside of that, but keep them close to this place that they have called home for nearly three decades. So we're working with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers through the Beneficial Uses of Dredge Spoils Program. And we've been exploring some potential locations for the new island to permanently relocate this colony. And a couple of places that we're looking at include the Hampton Flats, which is over um, just off of the city of Hampton, and also the Grandview Beach area, which is also off the city of Hampton. So our goal is to keep the birds close to home, but remove them out of that low elevation military airspace and also um, away from this major transportation artery that is the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel and the I-64 corridor. So today we're tagging and weighing some lapping gulls that are nesting here on Fort Wool. And we do this as part of monitoring where these birds go after the breeding season. We have a big plastic readable band that you can see with binoculars and then a small silver band that is usually only readable when you recover the body. And that information gets stored with the bird banding lab at the U.S. Geological Survey. This lapping gull who is on eggs now and so we want to get her back to her nest weighs 365 grams. And then we're going to take some other measurements off of her to help build our library of information about lapping gulls. And once we're done banding with it, we're going to let it go back to where it was nesting. The royal terns and the sandwich terns that are here on Fort Wool uh, don't breed anywhere else in Virginia. And the black skimmers and the common terns that are using the barges, this represents about 50% of all the nesting that happens in Virginia. So if we want to keep these populations strong and robust, having a place for them to nest that they call home using abundant forage fish out of Chesapeake Bay and these waters that they have used for over three decades, we want to make sure that they have a place to come back to every year.